This is a very strange YouTube video for me, and I can't believe I'm going to post it, but I'm going to because this, like, hey y'all, it's Jess. So today I want to talk about autistic burnout. So basically, burnout for autistic people is a buildup of negative emotions and experiences that are directly due to being autistic that result in affecting your mental and physical health. So sometimes it presents as depression, so you feel um, really tired all the time, uh, you don't really see the point in doing things a lot, uh, you feel misplaced, you feel upset at little things that you feel like you shouldn't be upset at. I'm just not into it today. I'm not into it today. I don't know. Um, I was supposed to be talking about autistic burnout and I feel burnt out. So I can't even get up the energy to perform for camera. Um, so this is, this is the real, the real deal here. Um, This is what autism looks like when your executive functioning is down and when you can't mask anymore and the coping skills aren't working. Um, and what I was saying first, the buildup of like negative experiences and emotions, like it's not like everything is really bad and things just keep getting worse. It's just all these little things that are continually popping up and they just build and build and build and build and build and then suddenly you're like why am I feeling so crappy and it's because the the lighting if you see the lighting go dimmer it's because the sun is going in and out from behind the clouds and I get seasonal depression in the winter time because there's not enough sun and it affected me so badly this past two years that now even just like the sunshine being out and suddenly going behind the clouds I can feel like this drop in me um, not being able to like go out and see people is not like too big of a deal for me but I do feel disconnected from my friends and like that maybe is affecting me a little bit more than I thought and I do mask for camera because you have like this is this is YouTube this is making a video this is performing this is um, acting in a way uh, I make my voice higher and I like this is my natural voice I feel like I, I sound like I just woke up I can like feel the like grumbliness in my voice <laughs> um, and I still mask without realizing it and I still like see appropriate ways to mask that I realize I I, I have to or else I'll just be like this on camera and not be good at like doing what I normally do on camera. Um, but like sometimes it's just kind of sensory overload of just like all the like it's almost sensory overload of nothing. So like just all this nothing just piles on me and I just get more and more like clouded in I guess. And then I just realize I just want to go back to bed. <laughs> And also like living in a world that does not accommodate to you as an autistic person brings up all the struggles and all the stuff you always have to deal with all the time so of course we get burnt out you know um, I feel like if I'm not entering burnout stage right now I'm just having a really bad off day but um, if I am entering burnout then have my notes the solutions to help fix or to, or to recover from this but basically like part of it is embracing like your autistic identity and but to do that you have to like make sure that the people around you have lower expectations of you and don't demand as much um and you have to emotionally regulate i'm gonna do like i'm just gonna spend today with emotional regulation i'm just gonna put on some quiet music take care of my body take care of myself uh, do some just like stim toy 
time, take some vitamins, drink some water, um, make my do something to make myself feel better, do something to intentionally treat myself. Um, another way to fix, to, to, not to fix burnout, like to recover for burnout is to get involved in your community. Uh, I love you guys so much. I'm so glad that we have the community that we do. Um, and so I'm going to message some of my friends and talk to them about how I'm feeling and stuff. Um, if you have the opportunity for it, go to therapy, uh, talk to a counselor, even just talk to your parents or a friend or someone who understands you. Um, and that helps a lot. Um, I'm, I'm just going to spend today taking it easy and not stressing and worrying about it. Um, I, like, how perfect is that? I was going to do, like, this whole, like, thing of autistic burnout, and then I just feel completely just, like, not into it at all. And so I, I figured, why not take advantage of the situation and talk to you guys? I can't even, like, make eye contact with the camera right now. It was, like, talk to you guys, show you, like, what it, like, just, this is what it is. Um, this is... Uh, I don't like to say the bad part of autism or the dark side of autism and stuff, but it's just like we're humans and every every like different type of brain has stuff that they can handle and stuff that they don't want to handle and stuff that they can't. And so like this is just part of um, being a human being. So I hope you guys have a better day than I am. It's Monday. Uh, everybody hates Monday. So tomorrow will be better. Bye.